Okay, that's it. So we're going to start, guys. Welcome, everyone. And thanks, thanks for the ones who were responsible, right? You that are here now at this time. Thank you very much for being responsible. Well, guys, um, I was telling your classmates that this is going to be like uh, almost the last class where I will explain everything related to the third midterm, right? The last, the last activity you will do, okay? It's a little bit long, I can see there, but you will have enough time to do it, okay? You will have three weeks for the midterm, okay? It's starting from now, okay? So I want to let that clear. Please pay attention to what you will do um you will have the presentation on canvas as well so if you want to check it out wh while you're doing the the homework right for the midterm you, you will you can check it out on canvas so in order to clarify doubts and everything okay now let me ask you because i don't know if you're sleeping <laughs> on the other side or i don't know if you're doing something else and not listening to me i don't know <laughs> so let me just ask you, right, guys, um, what kind of music do you like? If you can post it right there on the comment section, that would be great, okay? What kind of music do you like? That's a, that's a very basic question, right? I, I, I consider that everybody in here can answer that simple question. So tell me what kind of music do you like on the comment section? Mm -hmm. Waiting for your answer, Sky. Uh, country music, rock music, said Gabo. Uh, and DK, I like instrumental music. Ah, that's perfect. I, I like instrumental music as well, Enrique. And Oscar Zavala, pop and classic music. Classic music is great, nigga. Classic music. You will listen rock, pop, rock, and little of country, all country. Okay, perfect. Pop music, Milena Nieto, Gabriela, pop music in English. Very good. I like classic music, Caroline. Very good, Caroline. Classic music. What about the others? What kind of music do you like? I'm waiting for someone to say uh, this famous music, like uh, I like classic music. Well, that's a Caroline, right? Uh, reggaeton, perreo. Uh, I know that you like that kind of music, so don't lie to me, okay? <laughs> don't lie, don't be liars. Pop music in English and 80s music. 80s music is great. Okay, Epa. I mean, if you if you're brave, you will say I like perreo and reggaeton, right? <laughs> Be brave, okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I do like perreo, but the old school, you know. I mean the, the new songs are uh, I dislike that kind of music. So the 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 old school, I mean the the singers, uh, um, for the old school, the this Jern Perreo, right? They they are great. I mean the, their songs are great. I really like it. Kim Flip. <laughs> no, but uh, Gabo Kim Flip got a good song. It's called Christmas. Christmas, I guess. Right. So that that's the name of that song. I mean. I, I don't remember if that's the name, but that sounds great. Let me just one moment, okay? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so I don't know what happened to the others. They are sleeping, I guess. 
But then I'm going to start with the content for today's class. Let's see here. Okay. The content for today is writing a great short story. Do you know what is a short story, guys? Can you tell me if you know what it's a short story? Have you uh, have you read a short story? Mm -hmm. Araceli, do you know what's a short story? Okay, I got Milena right there on the chat. A short story is one in which it is intended to capture the readers in a few words. And that in the end leaves us a lesson or more. Very good. That's a short story. Mm -hmm. You want to capture the reader's attention in just a few words, right? That's a short story. Very good, uh, Milena. Somebody else, an idea about short story. Do you know what's that? Davo, Melin, or Elise? Okay, tell me, Rachel, what's a short story? Araceli, it is like a summary about some specific topic, I guess. Uh, kind of, Araceli, kind of, okay. Not specifically, but yeah, kind of. Uh, let's see, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oscar, Savala, tell me, what's a short story? Or do you know what's a short story? Talk to me. Guys, try to participate uh, during the class, you know. Remember that when participating, you are not going to get bored, right? If you participate. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's a short story. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, sir. So I've seen that a short story is obviously a story that you can read in at least 30 minutes and you can read it uh, in your in, in one time at least very good oscar that's a good idea of a short story okay it's a story that you can read in about 30 minutes very good i like it i think uh, the short story is a fiction writing that have to be coherent and then it have to grammatic have to be grammatically correct mm -hmm. and 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 have a lead uh, and uh, uh, three thousand and seven thousand words and no more two thousand to seven thousand words very good very good Gabo. good definition of short story okay but remember right short story guys it uh, should be as the name it's uh telling us right it should be something really short okay something really short that's why it's called a short story okay that's that's the reason i got uh some other opinions here in the chat carolina said a short story can be about yourself and often it's about an important event or someone else. Okay, very good. And Ivelisse said, I have never read a short story, but I think it is a short story in which the author tries to express his thoughts or opinions about something. Very good. That's a short story. Yeah, but I will give you some tips, right? In order for you to write a short story. Okay, and I will check it out. I will check out everything. Okay. Uh, in your short stories because that's what you will do you will write a short story and let me ask you something before i continue right have you ever written something like uh similar probably a short story or similar to that similar to short story have you ever written something like that mm -hmm. yeah yes a short story specifically or something else Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Very good. Somebody else? Have you ever written something like uh, probably a short story or similar to short story? Yes, I've really written a short story. And it was about a story invented by me. Gabriela Nieto. Very good. She invented the story. That's great. 
when I was when I was studying, guys, uh, I don't know, I don't remember as I was in my third or fourth year in my career. I was asked to write a short story. I mean, I wrote a short story called uh, "A Woman, uh, A Woman Without Fingers." <laughs> A woman without fingers. It was about a pianist. <laughs> it was, I, I mean, <laughs> it was a little bit crazy. It was sad, but I mean, I, I did my best, right? So I know that you can be creative as well. <laughs> okay, perfect. El Principito of Saint Exupery could be short story. El Principito. Um, it depends, right? It depends on the amount of words. Remember what Gabo said, right? A short story as well that should be between 2,000 to 7,000 words. If it has, if it has more than 7,000 words, then it's not a short story, okay? It depends. I don't know how many words does El Principito have, okay? So I, I, I'm not sure, but it depends on the amount of words. Okay, perfect. So I guess that you have an idea, all of you have an idea about what is the short story. Okay, now uh, these are the contents, right? The topics, uh, the, the subtopics that I will explain for you today. Understand that the short story is not the same as a novel, okay? Because a novel is something like larger, okay? It has more words than a short story, okay? Point number two, start as close to the end as possible. This is very important, okay? I want you to remember this step number two. Start as close to the end as possible. I will, I will, I will explain why you should do that, okay? Later on, I will explain that later on. So number three, keep up the peace. Keep up the peace, okay? That's something important too. In every kind of writing, that's something very important. You have to keep up the peace. If you don't do that, then it will not be coherent. Number four, keep the number of characters small. This is another thing that's very important, right? The number, point number four, remember it's a short story. So you cannot uh, include a lot of characters, okay? Uh, you have to include a few characters, maybe one, two, or three characters, okay? But no more than that, no more than that. Okay, point number five, give the reader someone to root for. Okay, so that is uh, like you will give the reader someone to root for means like something to worry about. Okay, that's someone to root for. Okay, something to worry about, something to identify myself with as a reader. Okay, point number six, create conflict. Okay, in every in every story, you have to include a conflict, right? If you do not include conflict, then you are not telling a short story, okay? It has to, it have to, you have to include a conflict on that. Point number seven, suggest a backstory and, but don't elaborate. Suggesting a backstory, I will go deeper into that later on, okay? I, I don't, I just want to read the, the, the subtopics now. Uh, point number A, appeal to the five senses, or do you know, you have to make the writer feel what he's reading, okay? Number nine, dialogue should bring your story to life, okay? Dialogues, elaborate, elaborate your dialogues perfectly. I mean, those dialogues, those dialogues should impact the reader, okay? Number 10, edit until it hurts. And I will go deep into that later on. So let's, I will just move on now. And I got this question here. Have you ever written a short story? You already say yes or no. So I will continue. And I got this definition right here for short story. Uh, I don't know if somebody else can help me read this definition, please. May I? Yes, sure. Go ahead, Evelisa. A short story is a form of fiction reading defined by its brevity. A short story usually falls between 3,000 and 7,000 words. The average short story length is around the 5,000 mark. 
short stories primarily work to encapsulate a mood, typically covering minimal incidents with a limited cast of characters. In some cases, they might even forget a plot altogether. Very good, Ivelisse. Okay, so pay attention to this uh, definition for short story, guys. It's telling us, this definition is telling us, okay, a short story should include between 3,000 and 7,000 words, okay? The average is about 5,000 words. That's the average. Um, you have to include mood when you are telling a, a short story, when you're writing a short story. You have to include minimal incidents, yeah, with limited, limited what? Limited characters, okay? Limited characters, a limited number of characters. So basically, that's a short story, okay? Between 3,000 and 7,000 words, you have to focus on the mood, you have to include minimal incidents, and you have to use a limited number of characters, okay? Very good. Let's move on. Okay, I got the point number one, and it says, understand the show story is not the same as a novel, okay? I want a volunteer to help me read this slide. I can do it. Yes, Gabo, go ahead. Okay, understand the story is not a, the same as a novel. Mm -hmm. Novels and short stories share some common characteristics. They need to be coherent, grammatically correct, and have proper spelling. And no matter the length, they need to tell the story. That means they both need to have the, this element. And I don't know what is the correct pronunciation, but mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. Inside an incident, uh, rise in action, progress, complication, climax, and fall in action. Very good. Thank you very much, Gabo. Okay, so basically, short stories are not the same as novels. I re remember I told you novels are larger than short stories, okay? Uh, but, but when you're writing a short story, you need to be coherent, okay? Coherent. This is very important in every kind of writing, you should be coherent, okay? It should be grammatically correct. So I will check grammar on this uh, homework, on this task, okay? I will check your grammar. So be careful with your grammar, okay? Uh, you should have proper spelling, okay? Ah, this is something very important, right? Sometimes in some of the words that I read, uh, some of your words, some of your words, right? When I'm checking out uh, and I'm grading your your homeworks, sometimes I find out that some of you misspell some words, right? And that that is not that you don't know how to write the word. I mean, that is that you do not revise when you are finishing, okay? When you finish, you do not revise. Every time when you finished, writing something you have to read it you have to revise that everything is grammar grammatically correct you have to check that everything is spelled correctly you have to check that everything is coherent okay you have to check everything that is why you should use the technique of revising okay you have to revise everything. Okay, you write something, and after that, you revise that everything is correct. Okay, and do it, do it because I will check everything on this last homework. Okay, it says no matter the length, they need to tell a story. Okay, you have to. Okay, if you write a short story in 3,000 words, you have to start and finish the story in 3,000 words. Okay, you don't have to, you don't have to finish the story like to be continued, right? That's not good. You have to finish on those 3000 words. Okay, 
that means they both need to have these elements. Okay, in, uh, inside an incident, that means like the main, the main incident in the story. Okay, the main incident. Racing action. Racing action means when things are getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, that's racing action. Uh, it, it, I got here in parentheses progressive complications, right? So when things are getting complicated, then it's the climax. Cl climax is like uh, the highest emotional point in the story. Okay, the highest emotional point in the story. That's the climax. And the fall in action means when you are giving a resolution to that to those complications okay the fall in action is when you are giving the resolution to the complications okay that's it okay i'm gonna clear drawings here and i'm gonna move to the next slide okay guys uh somebody else that can help me out with this slide here Mm -hmm. Somebody else? To read. <clears throat> okay, Milka, there you go. Okay. Start as close to the end as possible. Mm -hmm. Newspapers articles include the entirety of the history as close to the opening of the article as possible. Why? Because giving a reader the details up front is one way to let them know whether they can, they want, sorry, to read on. Mm -hmm. Good short history writers do this as well, sharpening their opening lines and paragraphs to ensure readers are pulled in off the bat and keep reading. Very good, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the, the, the main point here is that you should start as close to the end as possible, right? And that is, let's call it a, te a technique so that you can catch the reader's attention, okay? If you just start, it, it, I, I'm sure that you have seen some, you have, uh, you have seen some movies where uh, they start like uh, with, with that scene, like pointing out to the end of the movie, right? And then they start from the beginning and they start to, they start developing all everything, all the, the 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 scenes before the one that they show you at the beginning, right? They go step by step, step by step. It's like it's like telling you, you know that, um, for example, uh, Freddy was murdered yesterday, and then I start telling you how things happen. Okay, I I I I told you first. Freddy was murdered yesterday. And then I start telling you how things happen, right? That is, uh, that is a technique, right? You, you start from the end, you start as close to the end as possible. And it says, why? Because giving a reader the details up front is one way to let them know whether they want to read, they want to read on, right? So you can catch their attention, right? If you tell them, like, this is what happened on my story. It's like telling them, this is what my story is about, right? And then you start from the beginning, developing all the stages, all the stages, st stage by stage. Remember to do that, right? Start from the end, start as close to the end as possible. I don't know if you have questions about this slide. I want this to be very clear. Guys? It is clear. It's clear, okay, perfect. Let's move on. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else right here. Somebody that has not participated yet that helped me out with this slide. Uh-huh. I can. Yes, Enrique, there you go. <clears throat> It is a fast pace is essential for short stories. Normally, the pace increases as the hero approaches the final conflict. Since a short story starts close to the final conflict, it needs to hit the ground running and catapult 
the reader head along into the action from page one. For example, I couldn't believe I couldn't believe it when I heard that Keith Cavernow got murdered last night. Mm -hmm. Fred almost dropped his right. I hadn't heard, he said. Very good, Enrique. Thank you. Okay, keep out the piece. Keep out the piece means like follow the line. Okay, follow the line. Don't go around the bashes. Okay, don't go around the, the bashes. Just follow the line. Okay, and never lose the object the, the objective okay never lose the objective okay so if you're if you're if you're uh if you're telling about a story about someone that was murdered you have to focus on that okay only on that specific scenario you are not going to talk about his mother her mother uh, or her mother right you are not going to talk about my last vacation right you are going to focus on that specific action that someone was murdered okay do not go around the patches that is keep out the piece follow the line don't go around the patches there you go next keep the number of characters small somebody somebody else right here mm -hmm. guys Somebody else. Somebody has not participated yet, okay? Want somebody different. Hi, Mr. Yes, Merlin. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Keep the number of characters small. It's difficult to properly develop a larger number of characters in a short story, and it's hard for a reader to keep track of them. A short story only needs three characters, a protagonist, antagonist, and what is referred to as range or relationship character. The reader needs someone to cheer on, someone to hate and occasionally someone who serves who serves to advance the character arc for either the protagonist or antagonist very good thank you very much Marilyn. okay guys i guess this is very clear keep the number of characters small and it's telling you a short story only needs three characters okay at least three characters you can even write a short story uh, with only one character, okay, but no more than three. Why? Because you will not develop all the characters uh, as as you would like to, because it's a short story, okay. You don't have like a lot of words to to be talking about a lot of characters, okay. So only one character and only one specific situation. Remember this: only at least three characters, no more than three characters, and about one specific situation. For example, as I was telling you before, if you are if you are telling a story about someone that was murdered, right? You will you will talk about the person that was murdered and the killer, right? So you got two characters right there, and you got one situation. The situation is that someone was murdered. That's the situation. You got the person that was murdered as one of the of the characters, and you got the killer as the second character, and that's it, right? That's it. No more than that. Now, give the reader someone to root for. Okay. Uh, somebody, someone else, someone else. I me out with this one. Give the reader someone to someone to root for. Come on, guys. May I? Yes, there you go. Give the reader someone to root for. Again, again, every story needs a protagonist. The trick is to make the reader care about the character. There are a few techniques to strengthen the connection between your protagonist and the reader. Give your main character a passion, hopefully one that will be shared by the reader. Give your character determination that brings them out of their comfort zone. Give your character a weakness 
one that is only shared with the reader. A glimpse into your character psyche is another good approach. This will make your character feel real and go on to draw in the reader. Very good. Thank you very much, Ivalice. Okay. So basically, as I told before, right, give the reader someone to root for. It's like someone to care about, someone to worry about. Okay. So if you, you have to include your main character, so the protagonist, you have to include a, a specific a specific mood, right? A specific personality to that character, okay? Remember to include a specific personality or mood to your character. Why? Because we need to, uh, we as readers, right? If we see, for example, that the main character is a woman that is in trouble, right? Uh, it's Maybe that woman is in danger. So, make sure that you when you're writing you express everything if the woman is uh is scared make sure that you express how scared she is right so how are you going to do that by using great dialogues okay by using great dialogues so that's that's where you should be creative okay be creative with the dialogues okay if if you want if you want to transmit the reader that the woman is scared make sure to do it the best way possible by using a dialogue okay that's great you are not going to say only like and the women were scared no, I mean that that that's that that doesn't make any connection with the reader. Okay, you have to explain everything. Okay, explain everything. Why is she scared? How is she feeling? Etc. There we go. Create conflict. Someone else right here. Help me out, please. Create conflict. We're we're almost finishing. Okay, we're almost finishing. Milena, there you go. Create conflict. Every short story needs to have a single point of conflict. As a rule, no more than one is required for a short story. The character should have either a dilemma, revelation, or be faced with the decision of some kind. So, rounding the conflict should be a good dose of tension. Conflict and tension keep readers and jig. Mm -hmm. Well, very good. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for helping me out there. I guess your internet connection was not that good, but uh, thanks a lot for your intention. Okay. Okay, right here, guys. Uh, well, let me tell you first of all that we have less than one minute. So the video conference is going to end. So I will just finish the conference right now and you can join again as soon as possible, please. So that we can continue. We're just finishing right now. <laughs>